It's our two here on K-pop, and in just a few moments, we're going to be testing your K-pop knowledge with our uh, K-pop MVPs. So stay tuned for that. Very good. Kwon's going to be joining us in the studio to help you win. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is start off our second hour. So for those of you who maybe didn't win in the first hour, test your K-pop skills, and you might be winning in the second hour. We got Astro Science CD to go out for you. So uh, let's start off our show for to uh, do with our second hour with Iowa and their track Dream Girls. First place to listen to the hottest K-pop, K-pop with DJ Isaac. K-pop MVP. It's time for you to test your K-pop knowledge to see if you can be this week's K-pop MVP. Here to help you out of that comes into the studio every single week is Barry Gets Cool. And hi! Hello. Good, good. Very good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Go. <laughs> you changed your hair color. Yeah, right. Only you got... Uh, <laughs> Only I knew? Yeah. Oh, yeah, your hair uh, color changed. Oh, my fans don't know about it. Really? Yes. It's darker. It, it seems like brown, so... Well, it's a little bit of an ashy color. So like, yeah. kind of like gray, purple. Yeah, kind purple. Of purple was the color that's, she was going for. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Well, maybe because you've also been putting your hair back in a ponytail these days, so maybe they didn't uh, realize it. Uh, maybe. Uh. Okay. So sad. Uh, but it looks like uh, she's going to be doing music programs today again, too. So, yay! Yay! It looks like they're still <laughs> still quite busy. Yeah, uh, quite busy. Quite busy. Not very busy. Not very busy. <laughs> yeah. Wish they would be very busy. Yeah. Hopefully. But we are promoting some new, new videos and pictures, so. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Sounds huh. good. Yeah. All right. So second hour, we've got Astro Science CD uh, ready for uh, our listener who walks away with today's K-pop MVP. We're going to be testing your K-pop knowledge. So you're going to try to figure out uh, questions about some hot K-pop celebrities. Mm -hmm. So uh, boy bands in the K-pop scene. There's a lot of boy mm -hmm. bands that are pouring out these yes, days. So many. So many. Um, but there's a few out there that I think kind of have uh, made their mark with their first album. Uh -huh. So uh, recently, uh, I mean, it's been a, a while since their albums have been out, but Madtown's Chota has been quite busy. <gasps> yes, I saw we got, we got okay. married. So you saw TV. we got married. Yes. And you saw him joining the, the new lineup. Yeah. Okay. Now, the last time we had Madtown in the studio was when Chota actually joined our neighborhood's uh, recreation. Mm. Uh, so when he was showing that off, we didn't expect him to do that well yeah. because the day that we interviewed him uh, was the night so it was aired the night before yes so we weren't sure how the ratings were gonna go but mm -hmm. he got a lot of love from that yeah and he's now in uh, We Got Married so he's been standing out and so has his team of course Monster X is another team mm. that's just really hot yeah uh, also Astro the artist that we're gonna be giving away today mm. they're wow. so cute yeah they're I around like your age so, uh, really they're younger. Some are the younger than you. Wow. Yeah. Some of the, the <gasps> youngest member in Astro is born in '99. <gasps> if I remember right. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it seems like uh, 2001 too. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of younger members these days. So cool. Yes. You're not the youngest anymore. Yes. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. 
uh, such mang ne. You're not the youngest anymore. anymore. Aww. Okay. Uh, now, not only then Astro, but uh, Kuna Kun too has been getting a lot of love, mm. and so they might, you know, br- bring themselves to the next level, like BTS, maybe soon. Mm, yes. Maybe soon. And maybe, maybe seventeen. Maybe soon. Oh yeah, seventeen too. Yes. We can't leave out seventeen. Yeah. They yeah. got first prides and yeah, they got their first number one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just keep thinking that though. I mean, since they're mem- the members produce and uh-huh. then they also like make their own choreography, mm-hmm. I would think like how good it is for them now because they're actually making money. Yeah, though they are a rookie team. Yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about these boy bands that we just talked about. So if you have any knowledge on some of the more recent rookie teams that have been getting a lot of love, Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get today's K-pop MVP uh, pretty much all correct. So uh, today Astro Science City is going to be given out and it looks like a lot of the listeners are saying hello to Kuhn as well, welcoming (laughs) you to the show. Yeah. So uh, let's get into uh, the uh, first question for our uh, K-pop MVP. Yes. All right. Um, choose the one which the idol and the group is wrongly matched. Uh, okay, so we need to choose the member and the artist that's not... Yeah, that's not correct. correct. Oh, okay. Ooh, this might be hard. Okay. Yes. Give it to me. The choices are one, Cha Eun Woo in Astro. Okay. Two, Jo Ta in Halo. Three, Juhan in Monster, Monster X. And four, Park Seung Joon in Kanakun. I um I think not too hard. I mean, it's first question. Yeah, well, it's ah oh, yeah. We mentioned about it. Yeah, we already talked about the members. Yeah. Well, we already talked about some of the members, mm-hmm. but we also talked about some of the teams too. Yes. So it shouldn't be hard. Too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's see here. Uh, ooh, 17, uh, oh, 17 apparently is going to be going to Indonesia. Oh, <gasps> wow. I didn't know that. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> okay. So question number one is out. Uh, before Kwon reads it to you again, let me remind you what the rules are for our uh, K-pop MVP. Mm-hmm. Four questions go out. So for the next hour or so, Kwon and I are going to be giving you four questions. Uh, they're in under different formats. And uh, we're going to be uh, having you answer the questions. Now, it's quite easy to do um, sometimes if it's too much, like for the first question if you don't want to write down everything you can just type in the number yeah uh Kuhn does give you one two three and four so there's choices that mm-hmm. you don't have to like word everything out too much um also uh just make sure that uh, we do have song breaks to help you out to kind of figure out what the answers are uh most of the songs are either four minutes or under so you do have an additional time to send in your answers or fix them mm-hmm. just make sure that they're fixed before the song break is over because that's when we end the question yes so uh with with that in mind, let's have Kuhn give you the uh, first question again. Okay. Choose the one which the idol member and the group is wrongly matched. Okay. And the choices are 1. Cha Eun Woo in Astro 2. Jo Ta in Halo 3. Juhan in Monster X and 4. Park Seung Joon in Kunakun. Okay. Now, uh, you can go online and double check. So uh-huh, you can yeah. search these teams to see if there's a member yeah, and that is member. in there. Okay. So uh, as uh, Kuhn is reading out the choices, you might want to have certain tabs open up and write in each search engine the name of the team <laughs> just yes. to check it out. Yes. Only four groups you Yeah, have only to. four groups that you have to look up. Mm. So if somebody needs to open them up in tabs to fi- figure it out, then uh, Kuhn, let's give them the choices one more time so that they can try to search for it. Okay. Choose the one which the idol member and the group is wrongly matched. Okay. And the choices are 1. Cha Eun Woo in Astro 2. Jo Ta in Halo 3. Juan in Monster X and 4. Park Seung Joon in Kanakun. Okay. Now, we were talking about a few of these members and teams before we jumped into question number one, so it mm-hmm. shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Um, the members that we did choose today uh, are pretty representative, I guess, kind of representatives mm. for their teams, too. Yeah, I think so. So uh, they do kind of stand out within their team as well. So it shouldn't be too hard for you. Mm-hmm. There's nothing against looking the answers up. You're not considered 
cheating or disqualified for looking the answers up. Yes. So if you don't know what the answer is, you can look it up. Mm. Uh, with that in mind, for some of them who tried to figure it out and they just can't do it, let's read the choices for them one more time before we go into the song break. Okay. I like the intonation when I say chuta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, let's start with number one. Okay. Choose the one which the idol member and the group is wrongly meshed. Okay. And the choices are one, Chaunu in Astro, two, Chuta in Halo, three, Chuan in Monster X, and four, Park Seungjun in Kanakun. Okay. So uh, try to figure out which uh, member and team is wrongly matched up. It shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Uh, if you're still kind of pondering what the answer is, you can go online to uh, check it out. We're going to give you three minutes and six seconds wow. to figure it out. Now, the next song has nothing to do with the answer, so mm. don't try to get any <laughs> hints from there. <laughs> uh, Chuan has Sam Ok and I'm on the track with Flower Cafe. We'll see you guys back with the answer to question number one and then question number two. with uh, figuring out the answer to question number one. So you needed to choose which artist and team was not matched correctly. Yes. So which member and team was not matched correctly? Uh, the answer was number two. Uh, Chuta is a Man Mad Town member. Yeah, Mad Town member, not Halo. Yes. We see two of the Halo members tomorrow in our studio mm. as we have them as our weekly guests yeah. for our idol class. But wow. uh, Chuta, we were talking about him earlier. He's in Mad Town. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so in the opening today, we were talking about some boy bands who are really striving to reach that next level in popularity. Mm -hmm. uh, the first hour uh, giveaway was pretty hot of a team as well. But uh, the second hour is Astro Sign CD. And uh, we were kind of talking about them earlier as well. They are a team to look out for these days. Yes. Uh, very popular. Very cute, too. Yeah. And I like their song. Yeah, it's really addicting. Uh -huh. um, and just overall, I feel that they're just that really cute look. Yeah, kid look. Yeah, so like, cute look. So even if they have like same age members as some other teams, yes. Um, some of the other teams these days are going for like you know Monster X, Madtown, very hip hop based, strong choreography. Uh -huh. But Astro now very sweet, cute. Yeah, very cute. Uh, with that in mind, what we're going to do is, uh, that was kind of a little bit of a hint to question number two. So, mm -hmm. Kuon, what are we going to be doing for question number two? You can listen to two different clips. Mm -hmm. One is a high one and the other is an easy one. So you should figure out both the artist and the song title. Okay, so we're going to be letting you listen to a few uh, tracks and smart, small, small, small tidbits of the song. And you yes. have to figure out the artist and the title of the track. Mm. Now, before we listen to the hard clip, uh, because this is a K-pop show and good 90% of the songs and the artists are in Korean, uh, we're not testing your Korean skills. We're yes. testing your knowledge of the song. So if there's an English title uh, or an English way to write the name of the team, you can send that in as long as it's correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, with that in mind, let's take a listen to the hard clip for question number two. Easy! Yeah. When I was at health center, uh -huh. uh, I I saw them... In Working out? Oh, no. On TV? Yeah, on TV. Oh. When I was on the running machine. machine. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them first. That was the first time. I, oh, you, that's yeah. the first time you saw yeah. them? Oh. I was really... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and most of the gyms here in Korea, I think they do this in the States, too. Uh, they have cable on the TVs for mm -hmm. the running machines. Yeah. So you can watch a lot of the music programs. I do that, too, when I go to the gym, if I'm on the running machine. Yeah. I turn on one of the music programs, and I just start watching uh -huh. that and then listen to that while I work out. And I finally realized that one of the member got uh, some chick, pink chick on oh, yeah. his face. Yeah. He had blush yeah. on his face. You yeah, know, it was so cute. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. So it was really uh, it stood out for her so that she remembered that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, it is kind of easy for question number two. Mm. Um, don't really need to explain too much. Yeah. The song itself kind of does explain itself too. So uh, before we give you guys some more hints, let's listen to the hard clip again. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm, sweet song. Um, the song kind of talks about spring, but this team reminds me of spring, and then yeah, yeah it's very spring like. <laughs> spring. Very spring like. <laughs> That's a hint. Yeah. Very spring. Mm. Spring, spring, spring. Their clothes were very bright, too. Yeah. Very bright. Pastel tone. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, their youngest uh, had braces the last time I saw him, and then I saw him mm. not too long ago. He got his braces off. Wow. Wow. And I know that feeling, because I, I used to have braces. So, Yeah. Getting huh. the braces off is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> um, so that's another hint. Uh, we are talking about a pretty cute team. Uh, amongst all of the more charismatic teams that have been debuting these days, yes. the song you can tell is already a little bit more on the cuter side. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, as long as you were getting the right answer for question number one, you're still qualified. So if you got question number one right, uh, we are moving on to question number two. We're we're letting you listen to a few uh, music clips, then you have to figure out what do they have to figure out today, Gwon? You can listen to two different clips. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a hard one, and mm -hmm. the other is an easy one. So you should figure out the song's title and the artist. Yeah, so the song title and the artist have to be correct for you to get question number two right. Yeah. Um, now, Astro Science CD is going to be our second hour giveaway today for the K-pop MVP. So if you are an Astro fan, I think this is going to be a really <laughs> big thing for you. Yeah. Um, now, we were talking about a few uh, boy bands who are getting a lot of popularity these days mm -hmm. and uh, who we probably can see grow into being pretty popular celebrities. Yeah. So uh, we're basing all the questions off of them. And so uh, if you were listening to the opening, I think it'll probably help you out. So uh, we're in question number two. Now, just to remind them, cool. And what are they doing for question number two again? You can listen to two different clips. Mm -hmm. One is a hard one and the other is an easy one. And you can listen to the hard clip this time. So uh, easy clip. Yeah, the easy clip. Yes. So figure out the song title and the artist. All right. So song title and the artist have to be correct. Now, if the hard clips are really too hard for you, we do have an easy clip for you. So mm. uh, turn off the volume, concentrate. Here we go with the easy clip. Go, go. Ah. Okay. When I first came to Korea yeah. and I heard this, yeah. I was quite what? I was I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Ah. Cuz in the US we don't have a song for this. Ah. Yeah, there's no song. <sighs> yeah. But in Korea there's a song. Yeah. There's like a chant, not a song, but like a chant. I sang this chant when I was young. Yeah, it's yeah, like always. It, it's it's yeah, it's a chant for a game. Yeah. Um, but in the states, we just play the game. There's no chant. It's just, mm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the more silent you are, uh -huh. the better. Yeah. Um, but then I, I noticed that this phrase would be used a lot in scary movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so for me, the reference kind of is a little bit opposite of what the artist yeah. image is for today. But yeah, yeah um, it yeah, it, yeah, the song became a little bit of, uh, creepy, scary. Right? Yes. It's very creepy and scary if you think uh, about it, if you hmm. put it into different content. But anyways, uh, so you need to figure out the song's title and the artist. Both have to be correct for question number two to be correct. Yes. So uh, think about that. Now, um, Kwon, you do have our rules, don't you? Do yeah, you? I have it. You have the rules? Yeah. Okay, then we haven't ha heard uh, Kwon read the rules in a while. So, go on, read the rules for our K-pop MVP. Yeah, it has been a long time. It's too. been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> K-pop MVP rules. Okay. There are four questions each week. After each question, we take a song break and finish the question after the break. You may change your answer during the song break, but make sure you have the correct answer sent in by the end of the song. After the answer to the question is given any answers corrected after a repeat is qualified. Mm -hmm. All answers to the four questions have to be correct for you to be the next K-pop MVP. There we go. Yeah. So with that in mind, let's take a listen to the easy clip one last time before mm -hmm. we go into the song break. Listen carefully. Go, go. Ah. 
ค่ะ If you're watching our video clip, yeah. Hint. Yeah. Hint. Okay. If you're watching our video clip. Mm. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got Astro Science CD for our second hour <laughs> giveaway for the K-pop MVP. Yeah. So if you think you know the name of the artist and the song title of the song that we're trying to let you guys listen to, try to figure it out. Now, mm. uh, we are going to take a quick song break. This kind of could help you out, though. Not like our first question song. Song break, yeah. but second question song break could be a little bit of a helper here mm -hmm. to figure out at least half of the answer. Yes, we've got for you Thomas and Kuyangi, put some boots, and we'll see you guys back after this with uh, the answer to question number two and question number three. We just say, Okay, let's play hide and seek, you're it, and then the yeah. person goes and waits, and then we go hi. Uh -huh. But here in Korea, they have a chant. Why the lyrics are like, why? <laughs> Now it's scary, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw that in a scary movie. Yeah, it includes hair. Yeah, and so they're saying that we're, I can see your hair, so hide as uh, well as possible. That's what the chant is saying. Mm -hmm. But I heard this in a scary movie, and I was just like, <laughs> Yeah, and now I can't listen to that lyrics without Aww. thinking of it very yes. Yeah, uh, but yeah, today's giveaway is Astro Science CD. So it, that's why I kept pointing to the CD hmm. earlier, yeah. Here just it is. to kind of uh, help you guys out there. Mm -hmm. uh, they did join us um, for the picnic with K Poppin not too long ago too. Wow. So uh, moving on to question number three, it I think is arguably the one of the hardest questions yeah. on our K Pop MVP. I think so too. It's pretty hard. Yeah, pr uh, but but it's not hard this time because only two groups here. Oh, okay, okay so we only have two groups today. Yeah. Normally we have like three or four. Mm -hmm. So it's our equation question. It's a math question. Yes. Uh, today, a little bit of fingers and toes. A little bit. A <laughs> little bit. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. Fingers and toes today. Just a little bit. Yeah. So get your fingers and toes ready or get a calculator or get a... Uh, Yeah. Mm. Piece of paper. Yes. Okay. So what are the two teams? It's only two teams. Normally yeah. we have like three or four, so this is better for you. Okay, so go ahead. Give us it. 17 members minus Midtown members. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> with this team. Okay. Yeah. So But the first group that have so many members here. Okay, so not 17 members as in the number the team name is 17 yes <laughs> so yeah. group 17 so group 17 what are they doing minus plus minus minus mad town members okay minus mad town yeah <laughs> okay mm. this is a little confusing yeah um confusing because there there are so many members yeah not, um, not both but mm. one of the teams does have a pretty big amount of members uh the other team pretty average i'd have to say for the number count these yes. days uh to give you a hint very good is i'd have to say a little bit on the smaller part yeah of members I these days yeah i didn't know that but these days these I days feel yeah the yeah. average member count it seems that very good <laughs> Gwon's team is a little bit on the smaller side. Yeah, and I was really surprised when I had ending stage uh -huh. at, at the music program. Yeah, music program, there were um, seventeen and Uju uh -huh. Sonya and oh twice. Uju Sonya and twice. Yes, yeah, so many members yeah, so there. Many. So <laughs> I was really surprised. Yeah, there are a lot of members in those teams. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um. Very good is on average a smaller count to members. Mm. Um, now the reason why we're giving you this as a hint is because yes, Hoon's in the studio. Yes, but uh, the average these days seems to be uh, a, you know a pretty good yeah. amount of members. Mm -hmm. So there seems to be a hefty amount of members in there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, it's not it's... within a small hand. Yeah. So I can't count the members on a hand. Yeah. Mostly, I need at least two. Ah, For most of the members that's these good days. Hint. Yeah. 
Yeah. For most average members these days, I need both hands to count the members on. Right, and it's average. But yeah, that's yeah. Just, that seems to be like the average number mm -hmm. uh, these days. So uh, you need to uh, figure out how many members are in each team. So there's only two teams today. There's no plus, minus, minus, plus, or whatever. Yep. It's just one mm -hmm. thing that you have to do, one action, and that is minus. So mm -hmm. subtracting. So what is the teams that are up against each other for today? 17 members minus Mad Town members. Okay. So not 17 members as in just random 17 <laughs> idol group members. Yeah. Group 17 members. Yes. 17. Minus Mad Town members. Yeah. So the team Don't 17. Con don't be confused. Yeah, and the name of the team and the amount of members has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, don't just assume that yeah. because the number's there and the name that that's what the answer's going to be. Yeah, and you need some of toast, a little bit of toes. <laughs> yeah, um, fingers and toes, a little bit, slightly. Little bit, yeah. And then you can kind of go back down to fingers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, most definitely lots of fingers going on today, plus a little bit of toes. Yes. Um, so if you're writing it down like I normally do, uh, let's give you some time to write it down again. So Kuhn, could you give us the equation one more time? Group 17 members mm -hmm. minus Mad Town members. Okay, so it's very easy today. Normally we have at least two more teams or at least one more team in there that either is added or subtracted. Yeah. Today it's just very big numbers, so just two teams. Mm -hmm. Only two teams. Yep, only two teams. Simple subtraction is what's going on today for the members. So trying to figure out how many there are in each team and then do the equation. So you can go online to double check how many members are in 17 and how many members are in Madtown. We're not mm -hmm. going to consider that cheating. Yeah. The giveaway for today is Astro's signed CD. So if you would like this, then uh, get ready. Yeah. And send in the answers. Now, for those of you who are sending in question number three answers right now, make sure that you're sending them in because you uh, qualified for question one and two. So if you got question number one and two right, then now you're sending in question number three. Yeah, and only one question is left, so yeah. please. You can do it. Sure. Yeah. Hang in there. Mm. Uh, so after this question, it's the last question for today, and then we're going to find out who's taking Astro Science CD home. So stay tuned for that and send in as many answers as possible so that mm -hmm. you can make sure that you get the CD. Yes. But make sure they're right as well. Uh, what we're going to do is take a listen to some more music. Maybe this will help you while you're trying to figure out the equation. We got Mad Town's track, OMGT. We'll see you guys back after this with the answer to question number three and then question number four. Mad Town. Equation. Yes. So, uh, Kwon, what was the equation and what was the answer? Mm, oh, the answer was six. Mm -hmm. And 17 has 13 members. Mm -hmm. And Mad Town, seven members. So. Yeah, so seven members seems to be the average these days. Yeah, these I, days. I feel like instead of just six, we've got about at least seven, seven. members. Seven. has seven members. Mm -hmm. Seven members seems to be the average, even for girl groups these days. Yeah. Um, And then it either gets bigger from there mm -hmm. or smaller, like really small. So like average five members even or yeah. four sometimes even as well. So I think the, there's a little bit of an extreme. There is a, either like four or five members, then there's about seven members or there's nine members or there's more than ten. Mm. So uh, it seems to be the average that seven members are in teams these days. Yeah. Astro Science CD is our giveaway, and we are already at the last question wow. for today's K-pop MVP. Barry gets cool in, in the studio helping you out today like she does every single Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget to tune in every Tuesday. Cool is in the studio with us. <laughs> today she has to run around a little bit because afterwards she has to go get ready for the music program. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about my <laughs> manager's driving. Oh, no. Yeah, because yeah, she has to get there by three. So yes. she really has to drive safely. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the last question for today for question number four. Mm -hmm. Uh... Choose okay. the member that has <laughs> the wrong yeah, pairing. The, yeah, the wrong pairing. Okay, so wrong fact about the member. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so wrong fact about some of the members here. Yes. <sighs> right. Okay. I think I know these. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah. Then the choices are one, Kunakun Sungjun prepared debut as Pangtan Sonyeondan BTS. 
Whoa, okay. Uh, two, Astro Chanu had a debut in web drama previously. Oh, okay. Three, Met Town Jota married Red Model Kim Jin Kyung at Uge. We got married. Okay. And four, Monster X Chuan promoted duet with AOA Seoryeon. Oh. <laughs> I think I know the answer. Oh, I don't know the answer. I okay. have to like, cheat. A little bit. So she had to look at the answer. <laughs> yes. I think I know the answer. Uh-huh. Now, okay. Um, let me break it down for some of our listeners who are freaking out. Like They're like, wait a minute. How am I supposed to know this stuff? Okay. Um, hmm. Try to think of the most... Uh, I guess I would have to say obvious one. This is not because I'm a radio host. I'm mm-hmm. interested in all the members. So I'm interested in Kunakun, Astro, Mantown, and Monster X. Honestly, even though I've interviewed these teams, um, I haven't interviewed uh, Monster X yet. But the remaining three teams I have interviewed before. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't been able to memorize every single one of the members' names, like, off bat. I'm halfway there, but still, I think I know what the answer is. So, you don't have to know that much about these artists to get the question right today for the last Mm -hmm. question. So, try to go for the obvious. Uh, Listen carefully, because I think it kind of stands out. So, listen to Kuhn as she gives us the choices for question number four. Okay. Choose the one that is explained wrongly about the member. Okay. Uh, and the choices are one, Kunakun Seungjun prepared debut as Pangtan Sonyunda. Okay. BTS. And two, Astro Chaunu had a debut in web drama previously. Okay. Three, Met Town Jota married red model Kim Jin Kyung at Ugeol. We got married. Mm-hmm. And four, Monster X Chuan promoted de- a duet with AOA's Haryan. All right. So, mm. oh, oh, I, I catched it. Did you get it? Yes. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of obvious. Now the reason why I'm saying it's kind of obvious is because don't think too much about it. Yeah. If you try to think like, oh, really? Did they? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> like, I feel that you're gonna get lost. Yeah. So try to think of something that's kind of obvious. Obvious, and and you can know. I think it kind of just stands out a little bit. So, for question number four, this is the last one. It looks like it is a little bit uh, challenging for our listeners because none of our listeners are sending in the answer yet. So, let's give them the choices for question number four again. Okay. Choose the one that is explained about member wrongly. Okay. And the choices are, one, Kunakun Seungjun prepared debut as BTS. Mm Mm-hmm. Two, Astro Chanu had a debut in web drama previously. Okay. Three, Met Town Jota married Red Model Kim Jin Kyung at Uge. We got married. Mm-hmm. And four, Monster X Chuan promoted Dior Red AOA Seoryeon. Okay, so like I said, this kind of just stands out to you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, uh, let's see here. So the first two are talking a little bit about their pre-debut. So before they debuted as these particular members, this happened. Now, like I said, you don't really have to know that much about the teams. It kind of just stands out there for you. Yeah. Um, I'm giving you a little bit of a hint here. Uh, so, I mean, think about it. Think about the contents here. So we're saying that Seungjun uh, prepared to and almost debuted as BTS. From Kunakun. Mm. We're saying that Astro's Talanu was uh, made his official debut in a web drama before he made his debut. Mm-hmm. I know that these might be challenging, but listen carefully to the next two. Okay. Uh, when it comes to uh, Mad Town's Chota and We Got Married, with uh, he's paired up with model uh, Kim Jin Kyung. And then the last one is Monster X's Chuan, who's been doing a lot of collaborations, did a collaboration with AOA's Horyeon. Now, out of those, it yeah. kind of stands out so stands out you might not think so but it kind of does <laughs> all right some of our listeners are sending in the answer okay they're getting the right wow. answer Whew, okay Whew. i was kind of worried there i was wondering like if i had to eliminate one of the questions mm-hmm. or the answers yeah in case they didn't get it but no our listeners are actually getting the right answer Yay! Yay! Okay, so you guys are really the K-pop MVPs. Oh. All right, but just in case, let's give them the choices one more time before we take a listen to the uh, last track before we figure out who the MVP is for this week. Okay. Choose the one that is explained about member wrongly. Okay. And the choices are, one, Kunakun Seungjun prepared debut as BTS. Mm-hmm. And two, Astro Chanu 
had a debut in web drama previously. Okay. And three, met Tan Jo Tap, married with model Kim Jin Kyung at Uge, We Got Married. Mm -hmm. And four, Monster X Chuan promoted duet with AOA Saryam. All right. Now, all four question answers have to be correct for you to win the prize today, which is Astro Science CD for the K-pop MVP. Yeah. We take one more song break before we find out who the MVP is for this week. Uh, we've got Kunakun with their recent release of I Remember. Then we'll see you guys back after this with this week's K-pop MVP. <laughs> It's time for us to tell you what the last answer to the last question for today's K-pop MVP is. Kwon is going to read it out for you. So what was the answer? Yes. The answer was number four. Joan had not collaboration with Saryam. Yeah. So even though it would be great if these two did do a collaboration together, they haven't done one yet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, Unu actually did make a pre-debut in a web drama, and Sungjun was a trainee for BTS, and he almost joined the team, mm -hmm. but he is now part of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, we're going to find out who the winner is for this week. We do choose you at random, and we do try to make it fair as possible. So, if you don't win this week, you always have next week. Hmm. All right, so uh, we've got uh, with the ID, hold on. All right, we got with the ID, uh, Kayleen from <gasps> the U.S. of A. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kayleen. All right, so the ID is Kayleen. Um, the, the listener's name is Kristen. So, uh, hmm. go over to Kristen. our winner information board and leave your name, your phone number, and address, and Astro Science City is going to you. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're so lucky. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Kwon's going to be going to her music program performance. <laughs> uh, we're going to be signing off with Yong Jun Young and Davi on the track with Inorega Gunnamyan after this moment, and we'll see her next week. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.